All right, I'm going to do this entertainment guy video from my hockey guy set, and you guys are fine with it, right? I'm also wearing the Mets jersey that... Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Um, anyways, see, you were a crappy knockoff, and somebody goes, oh, i got to send you the good one. Maybe I should take my, my hockey knockoffs and wear them in videos. So people are like, oh, my God, i got to send them. I only have one in my collection, but I can't bear to watch this anymore. Anyhow. That being said, I want to talk about something that I talked about earlier in the week. YouTube drama. So James Charles lost 3 million subscribers. Here's the thing. Uh, he's stopped bleeding subscribers. He's gained about 50,000 today. Uh, he's still in 13 million territory, but he's been gaining subscribers for the last few days. And uh, Toddy, who he had the fight with, she's gained millions of subscribers from this tons of views he's his view counts are absolutely crazy and this is why youtube drama in general i'm kind of cynical about it because i know people are going to think this is crazy but this is a great way of orchestrating more views on your page and more subscribers it really is this is kind of how it works uh, you know, everybody's mad like, I, I'm not going to support him anymore. But then there will be people who come in and they say, you know, uh, uh, it's not that bad. And then after three, four days, because we have a very, very short time uh, uh, attention span. Um, and our, our, our rage exists for like three, four days. Shortly thereafter, it's all fine again. Um, it's sort of like everybody's mad at Game of Thrones season eight, which is hilarious because I've been watching it. And I never watched any of it until like three weeks ago. And all every episode, I'm like, they're not going to like that. They're not going to like that. That's really, they're not going to like that. And I've been right. Um, I can even get the reasons why. Really, Danny? Really? After all these years and everybody cheered, people named their kids after you, Danny. And that. But uh, everybody's going to watch the, 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 the series finale tomorrow. Because they're in it. And with YouTube channels, there's some of that too. Where you, you unsubscribe and then you resubscribe. Uh, Emma Blackery is an example of one that I had unsubscribed from. But I still watched her videos. And I recently resubscribed. Um, she got into a, a personal situation. And, and her channel was kind of targeted. And she fought back against it. Now it took her months to fight back. Because when you initially get attacked, it it's kind of off-putting. And you're kind of like, well, wait, what? And when she came back and she explained her side, she was rational, she was well-reasoned, and I didn't have an issue with what she said. And I looked at how many subscribers she lost, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to hit the subscribe button, because it's the least I can do. Pretty much literally the least I can do other than not doing anything. Uh, but her numbers continue to drop. I, I think there are a lot of reasons for that. But then I look at, um, there, are, there are exceptions. Uh, the Pro Jared one got brought up. Or somebody asked in that last video, well, you know, what about the pro Jared thing? He's just stupid. It's just, it's, 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 it's dumb. It's, it's, <laughs> it's one of those things, you know, uh, if, if my channel had existed, you know, 15, 15 years ago, I made a lot of mistakes in my personal life, a lot. And, uh, I, I lost friends out of it and I, I was just stupid with a lot of things the, the rational, calm Shannon that people see on this channel and on the other channel didn't really exist 15 years ago. I was high strung. I was always pissed off. And I was miserable. I, I wasn't happy with my life. I wasn't happy with anything. Now, if I'd had a YouTube channel, that likely wouldn't have come across in my videos. So when the personal stuff came out, people would have been shocked. They would have been like, wait, what happened? Seriously? And I would have faced a lot of backlash back then, too. So, again, and I've mentioned this before, I'm really glad that by the time my YouTube channel came around, I learned how to give up all of my bad habits except cheering for the Bruins. That's You've got to, you've got to hold on to one. you got to have one vice in life where you go, all right, I gave up, I gave up, you know, any, I'll never drink. I never really did anyways. I never used drugs. Uh, but the whole, you know, I'm, I'm going to, be better with my wife when I get remarried than I was the first time around with, with my common-law wife. I was awful. Uh, we were awful with one another, and it was a miserable situation for us almost every day. And so that, you know, that's something that I, I get. And, and 
you know, what, what, what the pro Jared guy does here is he, he, he exposes himself through what he did. Oh, that's a, that's a really poor choice of words. A really, really poor, poor choice of words. That's not how I meant it either. But it's, it, it's a scandal that had been coming for a while, I think, because he hadn't posted a video in a very long time. I didn't follow him, but he'd already started losing subscribers because he just wasn't posting anymore. So my guess is that based on the numbers Social Blade were showing, he wasn't really making a, a, enough money on his channel recently to be independently wealthy at all. Uh, he would have had to have had another job. I, I don't have my ring on right now. I should explain this in this video. Um, I know on the Hockey Channel nobody's mentioned it yet. I just don't have my wedding ring on because Yvonne's wash, cleaning it. We have a cleaner. She's, she's cleaning it. I swear everything's fine. Um, we're, we're, we're going to a meetup today. Everything's fine. But uh, YouTubers, it's it's interesting because you get into this drama and, and there is a character that these guys play. And like I said, it's... The worship of celebrity is, is dangerous. And I don't get into that. Um, there are certain celebrities that they'll say something publicly. They'll take a certain political stance and I go, I don't, I don't think I can support them anymore. And it, it, it hurts, you know, or they'll do something stupid or they'll say something stupid. And I go, wow, I, I just, I don't think I can support them anymore. And I, I never go back on it. I, I never go back, you know, two, three, four months, five months later and say, well, yeah, but everything's fine. And, and, uh, it, it's upsetting when that happens with YouTubers. And I, I mentioned this in the last video where I talked about this as well. There's just, there's no vetting process. We're a lot younger than a lot of those actors. Um, you know, when, when Mel Gibson was yelling and shouting through the phone and saying absolutely hideous things, he really should have known better. He was far, far older than a lot of YouTubers. And, you know, it proves that having more money doesn't make you smart. And I can say I can say as well that having more money doesn't necessarily mean that you're stress free either. You know, we're we're living in a a, a, a nice house, decent neighborhood now, and my stress level is about the same as it always was. Uh, so when you when you look at people who have have this standing, um, they're human. They make mistakes, and in Pro Jared's case, it's a career killer. But I think that career was already done. Uh, from from what I'd seen, but there will be more YouTube issues because you know last time I looked, my channel was ranked forty nine thousandth. Not this one. My main channel was ranked forty nine thousand something on Social Blade, and that means there's over forty nine thousand channels that have bigger numbers, better numbers than than what I put out there. And for this channel, it's 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 under. 1,005,000 or something like that. Like, it's it's insane. So out of those people, you're going to have some great people. You're going to have some pretty good people. And you're going to have some, some terrible people. Some really, really awful people. And if I ever get invited to some kind of a YouTube shindig with, with bigger channels as my channel continues to grow. Not this one, the main one. This one, if I can ever get it to a, to a decent number... Festy Fest will be so much bigger next time. It'll be huge. Um, although I, I have to say, uh, it was it was very nice to see Steven Tyler singing with the Beatles. I never thought I'd see that, but Festy Fest it makes the impossible even more impossible. So uh, that that aside, you know, if if I ever got invited to some kind of a shindig or I met with really big YouTubers, I would definitely say this guy's kind of a jerk. I, I would absolutely 100% eh, I'll yeah that, that guy's or this person is an amazing person this this person deserves all the support in the world so um, that's obviously in the in the far far distance distant distant future uh, I don't foresee that happening anytime soon but if it does you guys will know so let me know what you guys think uh, just in general about YouTube and and here's here's a challenge which channel? Or which group of channels? So this could be a whole genre of channels. Do you not get? And I'll start. Try not to laugh. I've never seen a single try not to laugh video that actually made me laugh. Not a thing. And prank videos. I I don't find them funny. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. 
If you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.